um, a heavy weight. Mm. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> We're going heavy weights today. Happy Monday for the playback. Um, today is glutes and hamstrings. We're doing a 30 minute workout, three 10 minute circuits. Um, you will need a heavy weight. Um, yes. Yeah, you can take that. You can maybe even use heavier weights if you want. This is heavy leg day, so you can use heavier weights. No. I'm just trying to give people the rundown for when they, for the not live people. Um, like 50? Yeah, like you can go heavy. You could even do two if you don't want to hold 150 weight. There's only one. Hey guys. Um, I wasn't really we're discussing right. weights, so you can, it's heavier leg day, so you can pretty much, if you guys have heavier weights, you can go up with pretty much with however much your arms can carry, essentially. Um, you could do, for these, you could do two weights in each hand and obviously go lighter with, with what you're carrying or if you have a kettlebell or something heavier. What, Jet? Oh, sorry, did I just hit you? Huh. Um, so it's kind of up to you. Like I'm planning on using either probably the 25 or 35 pound kettlebell um, for these exercises. Not so the 35, you're gonna be using 25. I mean, I might use that. What um, did you, how much weight did you just take in the other ones? 45, so I like, could go up if I needed more than this. I don't even, I thought there was gonna be traffic today. I wasn't even supposed to be here. You got here real quick today. I was actually surprised you're here. I wasn't expecting you to be here either. That's because I told you I wasn't going to be. Why, you tricked me now? Yeah, I like to keep your expectations low. <laughs> I'm putting out on You are? Yeah, goodbye everybody. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <clears throat> okay, anyways, if you guys missed all that, if you're just coming in... Hopefully they did. <laughs> the, you know you're going to have to grab your own chair. We need a chair too? Yes. You can just use the couch or you have the bench. Why are you yelling? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. <laughs> this, it starts with this workout. <laughs> it's Monday. Oh my gosh, it's 9 30 already. All right, we gotta get going. <laughs> okay. You guys will need, once again, we're about to warm up, but heavier weights if you have it. Um, I really suggest it, especially if you guys have been doing my workouts, um, you know, fill a backpack with stuff, grab something, grab a plant. I've worked out with a plant, a huge plant before. You just gotta work with what you got. But if you guys wanna start really seeing changes in your body, you do have to add weight. So, um, okay. Let's do it. Let's warm up. But obviously, again, you don't have if you don't have any of those things, do not worry. You can still do all these workouts. So um, I want everybody feel to feel included. All right, you guys ready to warm up? Let's do this. Warm up. Oy. Three, <clears throat> two, one. Exercise one. All right. First, we're just gonna make big movements with our arms. Kind of go through this whole star pattern, just waking up our upper back. Just a little morning wake up, Monday morning wake up. What are you listening to? You know you can hear me. What are That's you listening halfway. to? Oh, you're annoying. <laughs> Three, 
two, one, rest. All right, next one's our squat with our overhead reach. Squat and our overhead reach will come up on our toes. Three, two, one, exercise two. Deep squat, overhead reach. So really try to get deep, as deep as you can in that squat while still keeping your back flat. So once you have to round your back to get into that squat, you're not really stretching out your hips very much. That's just making your back bend. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. All right, so now we're gonna do our RDL with our overhead reach. So our hip hinge, our hips are going three, straight back. Two, we're hinging one, and we're overhead exercise three. at the same time. So hip hinge, overhead reach, keeping our back nice and flat as we go back. So, we're working on hamstrings today with a lot of these exercises. If you don't work out your hamstrings specifically very often, you're gonna be sore. I'm just warning you right now. The hamstrings are a muscle that gets sore pretty quickly, kind of like your calves. So um, if you really don't work out your hamstrings, maybe don't go up as heavy in weight. Again, because they get sore pretty quickly. Three, two, one, rest. All right, now we'll do our lateral lunge with our overhead reach. Three, two, one, exercise four. Lateral lunge, overhead reach, and then just switch to the other side. That's halfway. What's wrong, Dad? Just go to sleep. <laughs> Just like a baby, he just cries when he's tired, cries when he's Three, hungry. Three, two, one, rest. All right, last one is jumping jacks just to get the heart rate up a little bit. Wake up your bodies. Three, two, one, exercise five. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Nice job. All right, so really this first circuit is the one where you're gonna need um, those heavier weights. So let me show you what we got today. Gee, I might use that 35 pound, just so you know. Okay, first exercise is the RDL. We're gonna change our foot position to be in internal rotation and external rotation. So. You guys can see my feet. 
I'm gonna move you guys down. Okay, so first exercise, our feet are gonna be pointed in a little bit, like we're a little bit pigeon toed, and then we're just going to come down in our RDL position. So slight bend in your knees, flat back, turn on those upper back stabilizers. So pinch your shoulder blades together. And you're go, gonna go down as far as your hamstrings let you, and then come up squeezing your glute, okay? So we'll do a whole round of our feet turned in, and then the second round, we're gonna turn our feet out and do the same thing. So with whatever weight you're carrying, you should have that weight kind of stay close to your shins the whole way down and then stay close to your body as you come up, okay? Second exercise is a goblet squat. So if you're holding weight, you're going to grab it close to your body, hold it kind of close to your chest, squeeze those shoulder blades, and then you're just gonna come straight down in that squat as far as you can go. So the weight is gonna to wanna to pull you forward. So you really wanna engage your core, sit your butt back, try to come straight down, squeeze that butt to come up, okay? Third exercise, split stance RDL. So one foot is going to be in front of the other. So with my left foot, I'm gonna hold the weight in my right hand. My back foot, I'm just kind of on my toe. And we're gonna come down just like we're doing an RDL. So this leg stays pretty straight, slight bend in your knee, coming down and coming back up, squeezing that glute, okay? Fourth exercise is a true single leg RDL. So our nice strong RDL position, we're coming down and coming back up, keeping that hip closed so we don't want to open our hip up Keep it nice pointed to the ground and come back up. And then the last exercise, I can't see it, oh, is our squat pulse. So if you want to hold the weight or not, it's up to you, but we're just going to pulse at the bottom of your squat position, okay, with weight or no weight. All right, so that's the first round. You got my timer. You guys ready? So first one's the RDL with internal rotation. Warm up. So toes are pointed in. Three, two, one. Exercise one. And then we're coming down slowly, keeping our back flat, and then coming up. Nice flat back. You're only going down as far as your back stays nice and flat. That's keep, halfway. Keep the weight close to your body. You're doing the same motion even if you don't have any weight. If you are using just your body weight, so no, you're not holding anything, I would pick up your pace a little bit. Go a little bit Three, quicker. two, one, rest. Okay, second round, just turn your feet out. So they're facing out. Same thing, slight bend in your knee. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Three, two, one, exercise one. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job, goblet squats next. So if you're holding the weight, it's coming up to your chest. You're holding it nice and strong into your body, pinching those shoulder blades. 
And then you're going straight down. Two, one, exercise two. Remember, only go as far down as your back stays nice and flat. That's halfway. As you get stronger and more mobility, you'll be able to go further down with that. Three, two, one, rest. Stop. Yes, you can hear me. Three, two, one, exercise two. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, split stance RDL. So one foot is slightly in front of the other. The back foot, you're up on your toe. If you're holding a weight, three, it goes in the opposite two, hand that's one, forward. Exercise three. And we're hinging our hips straight back and driving up with that glute. So hips go back. Back is nice and flat, driving up with that glute. Hips go back, back is flat, and drive it up. That's halfway. Keep that core nice and engaged. Belly button to spine, ribs are tucked in. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. I'm going to switch to the other side. I'm not trying to talk to you. Three, two, one, exercise three. Here we go. Squeeze that glute to come up. That's halfway. You good? Nora's been cleaning sand out of her paws all morning, so. Nora's very particular about her paws. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, now we're doing straight single leg RDL. So you're on one side, Hinging at the waist, nice and strong. Your back leg is staying Three, in line. Two, one, exercise four. With your upper body. So everything moves together as one unit. You're not reaching down with your back. This is a big balance exercise too, so take your time. That's halfway. I couldn't even do this like a year ago. I didn't even understand it. Really? It's kind of sad, I guess, but. No, well, it's a hard exercise. It combines know, a lot of different things. I play a superhero on TV and I couldn't do a single leg radio. Right Three, two, That's one. Where acting really comes Rest. into play. You probably could. Your body just. You had the strength to do your Not body. Not to mention I was a dancer for 10 years and my body still couldn't understand it. <laughs> it's 
tricky. Three, two, Other one. Side. Exercise four. One of the best ways, not one of, the best ways to add some length to your muscles, so like if you have tight hamstrings, that's halfway. Is an exercise like this where your muscles controlling the lengthening of that hamstring. So you're kind of strengthening it as you're lengthening it, and that's a lot more effective than just stretching. It's like three, negative resistance two, training. one. Yes. Um, we call it eccentric. You're pro we're probably talking about the same thing. Um, okay, so squat pulse, so either no weight or weight, we're just going to go in our, as low as we can Three, in a strong two, squat position, one. Exercise five. and we're just going to pulse. Core is nice and tight, our backs aren't arched, they're not really flexed, they're nice and neutral. If you feel this, too much in your quads, nothing in your glutes. Shift your weight back. So you're probably just leaning That's too far way. forward. Shift your weight back. Hinge at that hip. If you're holding a weight, squeeze those shoulder blades Three, to help you support. Two, one, rest. Just so you're not like this. Okay, squeeze those shoulder blades. Last one of this round. Three, two, one. Exercise five. There we go. Weight really makes this hard. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Your timer is Ooh, complete. Nice job. All right, we can put those weights down for a second. Grab your chairs for the second round. All right. So we're gonna be working on our hammies a lot in this one in a couple of different ways. So first exercise. Just turn this down a little bit. Okay. First exercise is a bridge on the chair. So, or couch or whatever you're using. So heels on the chair and we're just coming up from there. Okay. Second exercise is a straight leg bridge. So we're just going to straight, scoot back, straighten our legs out and do the same thing. Okay. Pushing our heels into the chair. Third exercise is a reverse plank hip extension. So you can either do it from the chair or from the ground. So it's just gonna be like this. We're in our reverse plank and we're driving our knees in. Fourth exercise is a long lever bridge. So we're just gonna do this from the floor. So long lever just means instead of your feet being close to your body, they're gonna be all the way out here, pushing our heels in and lifting from there. That's going to challenge your hamstrings more. And then the last one is a single leg bridge. So we'll bring one knee in and we'll drive up from there. Okay. So pretty much a ton of bridge variations for this circuit. All right. You guys ready? Warm up. So bridge on the chair is the first one. You can add weight to this if you want. Actually, I think I might add some weight. You definitely don't have to. Three, two, oh. one. Exercise one. So feet up on the chair and bridge. Remember, our core stays nice and tight. 
ribs are tucked in, we're not extending through our back, we're just squeezing up with our glutes and hamstrings. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Ooh, sweaty. Three, two, Here we go. one, exercise one. Yes. What? What? That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, so straight leg bridge now. So just scoot back, straighten your legs out. Three, yeah, that's only two, yeah. one, exercise two. I'm just tying my hair. So you can add weight to it. Still squeeze up with those glutes. Not with your back. That's halfway. Glutes and hammies. Three, two, one, rest. Stop. I'm so sweaty. Huh? Why am I so sweaty? I know, I'm really sweaty too. Three, two, one, exercise two. Here we go. Digging with those heels to lift your body up. But use your booty. But use your booty. Thank you, booty. Thank you, booty. Thank, Thank you, hammies. Thank you, booty. Three, two, one. <gasps> rest. All right. Reverse plank hip extension. So we're here. Knees are coming in. You could do it from your chair if you want to as well. Three. Be a little bit easier. Two, one. Exercise three. Push your shoulders away from your ears. So don't be, don't sink down. Push away from your ears. What are you That's about? halfway. Three, two, so one, rest. Stop. Like run, it's running down my arms. <laughs> Leg day. Is our house hot? Maybe. Three. Definitely was two, last night. One. Schooling. Exercise yeah. three. Hey, hey.
That's halfway. No, hey, hey. Dragging her butt in my workout space. <laughs> you didn't know that? Yeah. You did you? Yeah. No, hey, girl. Three. Two, butt drag. One. Rest. I'm gonna do it on moms. Okay, long lever bridge. So <clears throat> feet are gonna be further away from your body, and we'll do a bridge from there. Three, two. One, exercise four. So your hips aren't gonna go up very high, okay? But this is gonna challenge your hamstrings more. If you feel like this is too easy, you can go single leg, which is gonna really take up the difficulty. But again, we're doing a lot of hamstring today, so. I don't know That's halfway. You, you might wanna err on the side of not being too hard. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, exercise four. Here we go. You can also add the weight to this as well. You can always have the option to add weight. Remember, you shouldn't be feeling this in your back. Really squeeze that blood, blood, those blood and way. hamstrings. Blutes. Those blutes and hamstrings. Gamstrings. Gamstrings. Glutes and gamstrings. Glutes and gamstrings. <laughs> You're repeating everything I said. Three. I feel like I'm, two, like I'm relating one, it. Telephone. Rest. <laughs> Um, all right, last exercise, single leg bridge. So on your back, grab one leg close to your body, and then we'll push up with the other leg. Three, two, one, exercise five. Right, right, right. Gross, gross, gross. You want me my weight? That's halfway. <laughs> Three. Really pull that two, knee in. One. Rest. Remember, pulling that knee in will help lock out your low back so that you aren't. Uh, really able to extend through your low back will help localize it to your butt. Three. Wow. Two, one. Other Exercise side. five. Really get a nice squeeze at the top of that motion. Try not to come back down until you've gotten a full squeeze of that glute. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Ooh, nice job. All right, circuit two, bridge circuit done. All right, last circuit. So for this circuit, it's gonna be a lot of holds and pulses. So I'll let you guys be the judge of whether you wanna add weight to this or not, but we're not gonna be going through full range of these exercises. We're gonna stay in that low position, kind of like the last exercise of the first round. Um, this will just challenge the muscle a little bit more. So first exercise, is the Bulgarian split squat. So back foot is up on 
whatever you have, so your chair or your couch, okay? And we're gonna come down, and we're just gonna pulse in this range, okay? So this one isn't straight up, because most likely if you're straight up, you're extending through your back. So you can lean forward a little bit, come down through that front leg, and we're just gonna pulse, okay? Second exercise is sumo squat hold. So our sumo squats, wide stance, toes are pointing out, we're coming down, straight down, and our knees are going towards where our toes are pointing, and we're just gonna pulse at that, that lowest range that you can hold. Um, third exercise, we're gonna come down on our hands and knees, and we're gonna do bent and straight knee hip extension. So we're gonna be on our knees and elbows, okay? So not straight arms. We're gonna stay on one leg for two rounds. So the whole first round, is just bend knee hip extension pulse for the whole 45 seconds. And then for the second round, we're just gonna straighten our leg out and do a pulse from a straight leg and then we'll switch to the other side. And then the last exercise is lateral lunge shifts. So this one I do recommend having weight if you have it. We're just gonna shift, stay in this low position, shift one side to the other side, okay? All right, let's finish out this last circuit. And we are all done for a Monday workout. Warm up. All right, so our Bulgarian split squats. Get that back leg up. Remember, we're just gonna hold that low position. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Here we go. So we're just we're gonna just pulse. Pulsing. Yep, we're just pulsing. Watch your knees, make sure your knees are staying nice and straight, your knees aren't collapsing in. That's halfway. You guys got this, get low, get low. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job, switch to the other side. Three, two, one, exercise one. Here we go. Make sure your knees, everything is nice and straight. The core is engaged. Okay, remember we're not extending. We can lean forward a little bit with this. That's halfway. Keep going, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, sumo squat hold. We put the chairs away. Wide leg stance. Knees are going towards our toes. Three, two, one. And we're coming a little one. more straight down. Exercise two. Not hip hinge. All right, your, how wide your legs go is dependent on your own mobility, okay? So just because I'm wider stance, my toes are out more, you don't have to be in the same exact position I am. If you have to come in closer and a little bit turned out, that's totally that's fine. That's halfway. One of the two, the two biggest things for a sumo squat is your knees are tracking with your toe, they're not in. And then also you're coming just a little bit more straight down, not butt Three, out. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. What, Ricky? You gonna be my weight for this? Come here. Three, two, one, exercise two. you ever 
number one in huh. Wanna say hi to the people? <coughs> and That's his way. Sketchy, rookie. Sketchy. Three, uh -oh. there two, you go. one, rest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're on the ground now for our bent and stringy hip extension. Did we just do that twice? Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Three, two, one, exercise three. Okay, so on your elbows. Oh. We're staying on one leg the whole time, so we're just pulsing with our bent knee. I want elbows down, belly button to spine. I would even have a little bit of a, of a rounded back. I definitely do not want this, okay? Everybody does that wrong. That's halfway. Really try to push at the top of your range for this. Remember, this is no weight, just your body weight, so you really wanna to try to push that muscle to its end range. Three, two, one, okay. rest. All right, we're gonna stay on this leg and we're gonna go straight leg, hip extension. Three, two, one, exercise three. Here we go. This is coming from your glute. So make sure each time you pulse, it's a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze of your glute, squeeze. Squeeze, okay? Remember, we can make these exercises a lot more effective if we really focus on what That's we're squeezing, halfway. what we're turning on to do it. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job, other side. Same thing, bend knee for 45 seconds, straight leg for 45 seconds. Three, two, one, exercise four. What, what, what? <clears throat> That's halfway. Squeeze, 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 Ricky. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're licking all my sweat off. Ricky, I'm sweaty too. <laughs> Towel girl. It's not my ear. Three, yeah, why two, <laughs> one, rest. Oh, my left booty does not want to cooperate. All right, straight leg. Three, two, one, exercise four. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that booty. Thank you, booty. Thank you. Thank you, booty. Thank you, Ricky. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's halfway. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze. You can even touch your butt. Feel, is it squeezing? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Remember, we don't just go through the motion. We're Three, purposeful. Three, two, one. Uh, All right, lateral lunges, last exercise. Grab your weights again if you have it. You want it first. Your hair. <laughs> Three, two, one, uh, exercise five. Here we go. Shift. Oh, this is what I pulled my groin doing last time. <laughs> Shift. I'm gonna go away with this. Gotta be careful. Remember, as you shift, 
our butts are staying back, our core is staying nice and tight, okay? We're not arching through our backs. Core is staying nice and tight, hips are back. That's halfway. Give your butt a nice little squeeze at each side. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Last exercise and we're all done. Three, two, one, exercise five. Here we go. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. We did it. We made it. Nice job, guys. Nice little Monday. Oh, my lanta, my hair. Um, nice little Monday leg. A little gluten hammy action. Let's cool it down. Oh, grab some water if you need it. Nice job today. All right, let's cool down. Start pedaling out the feet. Oh, sore calves. Wow. Come into half kneeling. Uh -uh. Oh. We're gonna go sit back. We're gonna stretch out our hammies a little bit. So sit back, sit your hips back and that hamstring stretch, and then rock your hips forward by squeezing your glute, not by arching your back. So squeeze the glute to come forward, sit back into that hamstring stretch. Your hips stay straight the whole time. Okay, so don't open them up. It'll help localize that hamstring better. Two more times. I almost have to think about like going diagonally that way to keep them straight. Mm -hmm. All right, they would naturally like go to that side. Yeah. Your body's good at finding the easiest pathway to move. All right, come down to pigeon, and then just kind of rock through that pigeon pose. Come on back, pedal your feet out, then switch legs. Bring the other knee forward. And then same thing. Squeeze forward with the glute. Sit back with the hamstring. You notice how my core isn't moving at all. That means we're localizing it from here down, okay? We're stretching out from here down. I don't really care what up here is doing when I stretch my legs. 
It just stays nice and stable. Two more times. All right, come down to that pigeon and roll through it. If anybody's really sore, um, I posted a full body dynamic stretch that we did yesterday. It's up on my um, uh, IGTV page right now. So that's a really good full body anytime stretch. All right, coming back up, last stretch. Come up into this wide leg stance, and then we're just gonna roll and rock side to side with whatever range you have. Just keep your back flat. If you don't have that hamstring range, bring your hands up to something a little bit higher, and you can just keep your body a little bit more upright. If you have the range to go further down, then that's fine, but just kind of roll and rock through whatever tightness you have in those hammies. Remember, just keep your back flat so that you know you're localizing the hamstring stretch. You'll feel it different if you turn your feet out. You feel it different if you turn your feet in. So you can really play with the different motions to feel where you're most tight. And then as you're doing this, just start to work your legs in a little bit closer. You can still shift through whatever tightness you have, turn your feet in, turn your feet out. Slowly bring those legs a little bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Until they're all the way together. And then slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Oh, nice job, everybody. Amazing job today. Amazing job. Amazing job. Thank you, booty and hamstrings. Thank you, booty. Thank you, booty and hamstrings for everything you did for us today. Thank you. Blessed is the booty. Blessed is the booty. Hashtag blessed is the booty. Okay. Uh, I will see you guys on Wednesday for upper body and core. Don't know what we're going to focus on yet. It's going to be upper body and core. <laughs> okay. Bye.